Hey Cancer, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for tuning the freak in. Uh, please keep in mind this is a general reading, so take what makes sense for you and leave the rest for somebody else, my darling, sweet, lovable, sexy Cancers, okay? Um, if you are watching this for a Cancer, please understand this could be playing out from your perspective, okay? So just keep an open mind for these general tarot readings. Towards the end, I will be pulling some channel messages, so please sit tight. <laughs> Grab a bite, catch a fight, whatever you need to do, guys, okay? What is coming to Cancer in love? What's coming to Cancer in love? Cancer. So we have a final move, okay? We have a separation, and then you have summer. So some of you, maybe you're coming out of separation with someone, or even if there is a separation, then maybe you guys will come back together. Maybe it will be a temporary separation. Hmm, that's interesting. So let's see what that is about. You could be separated from somebody who is a summertime sign. So maybe another Cancer, uh, a Leo, or Cancer Leo or Gemini. So let's see what, what we what we got. Sorry, I got some hiccups. <laughs> cancer. What is coming to Cancer in love? What is coming to Cancer in love? Cancer. So Cancer, you have the Two of Wands. You have the Star Reverse. What is coming to Cancer and Love? Cancer. Hmm. Two of Swords Reverse, the Hangman. What is coming to Cancer and Love? Hmm. Temperance. Five of Cups, King of Coins. If that's upright or not, you may be dealing with a, with a Taurus, a Sagittarius. What is coming to Cancer in Love? Let me get two more cards. What is coming? Okay, it comes reverse. What is coming to Cancer in Love? Cancer. I feel like Cancer. We do have Aquarius here as well. I feel like there's this energy of trying to be patient with someone, um, but at the same time, it's like you may be running out of patience or someone may be running out of patience. Anything I'm saying here could be reversed. Um, there's a decision. Someone's trying to choose what they're going to do. So some of you may be deciding, you know, should I just move on from the situation or this person? Uh, maybe you feel like it's a hopeless situation, like, like, you know, it's not getting any better. Okay, with the star reverse, you're less than optimistic about, uh, you know, this situation for X, Y, Z reason. Um, you may be dealing with someone who's less than optimistic right now. Overall, they could have some financial issues going on. Um, there could be something about someone still kind of healing from their past. You know, the, the past is really uh, prominent here. Okay, so if someone's looking back at the past so much... This could be causing things to become very stagnant. Tell me about the Two of Wands for Cancer. And uh, what is the Two of Wands? What is this decision? This decision is the Queen of Cups reverse. Wow. So what the hell? This is the first time I've ever seen that. The King of Cups reverse and the Lovers reverse? Are you both doing this? Uh, maybe you both... <laughs> I've never seen this before. So, okay, so maybe you both, for some of you, if this is a relationship, this may be a relationship reading for most of you, okay? Um, maybe you guys are kind of growing apart from each other because of insecurities. Um, there could be some emotional problems or someone has emotional issues here, okay? Um, and maybe this is kind of tearing you guys apart a little bit, you know? Or maybe if someone's emotionally unavailable, this is kind of really uh, influencing this connection and that's that's why things are pretty hopeless right now or you feel that way with this freak all right tell me about the star reverse the eight of coins hmm i feel like cancer perhaps you've tried to fix this this situation you've tried your best to just i don't know guys <laughs> i'm just gonna get this energy of like you tried you made the effort um but it's almost like at this point, 
And I think this is someone for the most part that you may really have strong feelings for, or this person has strong feelings for you. The feelings may definitely be mutual here uh, if this is not a relationship thing, but it's almost like, you know, <sighs> hmm. what is the hangman for cancer and love hangman? But I feel like someone right now is trying to decide what they're going to do. You do have the devil here, the three of wands and the sun. Maybe things are getting toxic. Some of you could be in a relationship with another water sign or you both are water signs. And, you know, <laughs> two water signs, two air signs, two fire signs could be a little problematic sometimes. Um, so, because you guys are so similar. Um, so maybe things have turned toxic here or there's some type of toxicity in the situation. Okay. Um, and that could be what's, you know, what, what the problem really is here. So what is the uh, Five of Cups for Cancer and Love? I feel like someone is feeling very sad over you, Cancer. Um, maybe you guys were going to get married. Maybe you guys were going to do something is kind of what I'm picking up. But these issues probably was more like a block for you guys, okay? But I do feel like someone's going to want to come together here, Cancer, and try to heal this. Because uh, heart of the spread, you have temperance. What is temperance for cancer and love? I feel like someone doesn't really want to let it go, though. Someone doesn't want to let it go. Even if they get aggravated, frustrated, things seem, you know, they feel hopeless sometimes. But at the same time, there's still this energy of not wanting to let it go, not wanting to give up on it. Even if you guys are separated right now. Um... I'm hearing some of you may have gotten with each other when you both weren't really healed, okay? Maybe you both have like trauma or like a trauma bonding situation going on here. Um, what is what is this Eight of Cups reverse for Cancer? Eight of Cups reverse for Cancer. So you have the Hermit, the Five of Cups. So there is definitely this energy of sadness. Someone's very sad. Somebody is just... Um, under the weather like they're going through the motions or something like that it's like this energy of stay or go should i stay or go someone has to make up their mind here they're conflicted seven of cups for cancer and love so cancer if you're not in a relationship with this particular person like i said you may just be dealing with someone who's pretty emotionally unavailable um and as much as, you know, you want to be with this person, this person may want to be with you. I do feel like you guys have a strong connection for the most part. I just think that it has the potential to kind of be something toxic at this time, unless somebody kind of, you know, works on themselves, does their shadow work here. Okay. And if you are in a relationship, then the meaning is still kind of the same. But at the same time, I feel like your partner may not really want the separation. They may not really want to basically you know let this go even if it is toxic or whatever issues there are you know what is the two of swords reverse for cancer and love but at the same time it's like there's this, this heavy energy cancer of stress feeling stressed out maybe there's paranoia here um some of you king of coins reverse could be somebody who definitely um could be could, could be a little selfish at times okay um, and for others of you, this King of Coins could be representing somebody who, who may have a fear of commitment, okay? That commitment fear for them um, may have kind of halted things between you and this person, okay? So that is what I feel like, Cancer. It's very interesting. So it's possible that one person may still have hope, but the other person really doesn't. Um, but just know there's definitely someone's really trying to figure out what they really should do about this right now. Okay. Tell me more for cancer in this love situation. Cancer. What is coming to cancer in love? Tell me more. The three of coins. What else for cancer in love? Cancer. So it's like there's this energy of, you know, should we work on it? Uh, I feel like there is something toxic about, you know, this connection or, you know, maybe someone just had some unhealthy habits and that unhealthy habit could be anything, guys. 
you know, overspending, you know, gambling habits. I don't know, fears of commitment. Um, and obviously that fear of commitment can cause someone to kind of be a player or do certain kind of things, okay? Um, so what is the advice for cancer in this love situation advice? Nine of Wands. So it's telling you not to give up, Cancer. That's what it's on, Cancer. Look at that. Two of Cups, Nine of Wands, Five of Swords. It's telling you not to give up because maybe you guys, you know, have communication problems at times or there's, you know, some problems here because I feel like there's someone that may have some deep-seated issues. But at the same time, I, I feel like the, the cards are basically saying that this can still be saved or... You know, there's still hope, Cancer. There's still hope for you and this person. Okay. Uh, maybe someone may need therapy or you guys need counseling or there's a need to kind of just stop avoiding the big issue here uh, because these issues may have caused someone to be very unhappy in the relationship and emotionally kind of checked out here. Okay. Maybe there's a lot of illusions going on, you know, basically things that are just sabotaging the connection. This person may be um, intentionally or unintentionally sabotaging this connection, whether they realize that or not. And I feel like the culprit has something to do with like, um, like emotional traumas or problems. Okay. Be happy, highly emotional. This person is dying to hear from you. They love you so much. But at times they wonder what you see, what, what you see in them. They don't want to see you with anyone else. I don't think this person is ready to lose you, Cancer. Everyone was just a distraction for me. I was trying to fill a void. So this is someone who probably was in a very dark place. Okay, this freak was in a dark place. And I don't know, guys. Let's live together. Okay. Only one for me. What else does this person want to tell their Cancer? I hate being with them. So if this is third party by chance, they don't want to be with that freak. It's toxic. Okay. Four page love letter. I feel I can't give you what you need. Hmm. You could definitely be in a twin flame connection. Someone probably still has some shadow work to do. Someone's emotionally unavailable. Unique, but this person knows that you're unique and special to them. Um, they know that. You have wondering eye. And I'm calling texting from fake numbers. Wow. I know we're twin flames. That's interesting. So someone that you may be separated with, Cancer, I do feel like this person is going to want to try to compromise with you. They're going to want to try to basically, um, you know, salvage what they have with you, whatever they sabotage, whatever happened here. Um, someone probably really needs to just face their demons, okay? And I'm, I'm getting, like I said, for some of you that both of you could have like some type of trauma bonding going on. Uh, you both are probably still hurt from your own past and maybe you're hurting each other at the same time. Um, so it's very interesting reading. But I do think someone's going to come back here, Cancer. Um, they're going to kind of see things differently and try to compromise with you. I do feel like this person doesn't really want to lose you. They, they do have regrets. They do. But it's up to you. I don't tell anyone what to do. If you don't want this freak, just say no. You have free will. And you could just choose another path for yourself, okay? Or, you know, if it's a work thing for some of you, I, I mean, I feel like it'll get better. I'm hearing things will improve or something like that. It will get better. All right, so that's what I have for you, Cancer. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Thank you for tuning the freak in. Have a good one.